You can remove consent okay. to search right now and tell them to stop. Tell them to stop. Stop, 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 stop searching right now. That's my personal shit there. Stop. And put it back how it was. Put it back like it was. See how easy that is? Stop how you run up and do your job but for guys, you. But listen, but stop harassing black people. Hold up. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Open up, police! I'm dead set on helping every American citizen learn his or her rights. So every day, five days a week, don't miss it. Be sure to come and catch each video that's going to give you a little bit more information on your constitutional rights. So on this channel, We The People University, we constantly push know your rights. It's the reason we say that. Because if you don't know your rights, you don't know when your rights have been violated. You must know what's going on for you to be able to identify when the police are violating your rights. This video is the perfect example of when your rights are being violated and you don't know or have a clue of what's going on. Let's take a look at this video and let's find out what happens when you actually learn your rights in the middle of a quote unquote police investigation. Let's check this out. Uh, Officer Helmuth, uh, badge number 355. What's going on? Is he detained? Yes, she gave us consent to search that. Why'd you ask for, why'd you ask for consent to search it? Why did you ask for consent to search it? Because he has somebody's money, sorry. He has somebody's money? Yeah. How did you determine that from watching him walk down the street? I don't need to discuss that with you. All right, we'll discuss it on YouTube then. Or with Coles. We'll discuss it with Lieutenant Coles. How about that? What happened, sir? Why did they approach you? Harass me. To harass you? Yeah. You can uh, you can end consent at any time. You can tell them to stop searching us at any time. You can end consent right now. No and if they don't have uh, probable cause to search it, they can't. I thought I said you end consent. Right now it is. Right now it is, but they're harassing hey, him. Guys, if it's consensual, you guys can step off the of beach. You guys do not have to allow them to frisk or search or anything. They already Real talk. They already did that. Hey, listen. If they didn't, you have to get out of there. You can't search and frisk that. If this is consensual right, and you don't guys, have reasonable suspicion, you guys can continue call. recording. But you guys no, no, have to no, step no. Back. Listen, no, you don't, don't tell us. We tell you. You have to step you back. You don't tell us. We, we, tell, we have the freedom of assembly. You haven't detained anybody. That's fine. We but you guys need to step back. I'm with them. He just told me to get a good angle right here. That's, that's, that's fine. Well, we that's don't have to. Who's the supervisor? Nobody's being detained right now. Sorry, Mayor. Hey, Morel. Morel. Oh, so if he's searching. So you don't have reasonable suspicion of uh, frisk for public cause to search. He didn't give consent. You, you can consent. remove okay. consent to search right now and tell them to right stop. Now, stop. Tell them to stop. Stop, stop, stop. stop searching right now. That's, fine. That's my personal shit there. Stop. And put it back how it was. Put it back like it was. So as we see, this citizen, he did not know he had the right to withdraw the consent that he initially gave to the officers. Let's check it out. When can police actually search you or your belongings? Search and seizure. There are a few circumstances where law enforcement officers can conduct searches and seizures without a warrant as long as the search and or seizure is reasonable. Consent. If the police ask you for your consent to search your home, car or belongings, then they will have the right to search. But remember, you may refuse. Always state, I do not consent to any searches. If you freely and voluntarily give your consent to a search, the police are allowed to search without probable cause. Many people give consent to search their house, car, or other belongings because they believe they must do so. This particular citizen was under the impression that, yes, if they ask me, I must do so, but you don't have to do that. Even if you give consent, you can always withdraw that consent as long as the officer had not found anything that gave him probable cause to continue the search. So remember, even if you say, yes, you can search my belongings. In the middle of that search, you can say, hey, stop, as we just saw. See how easy that is? how you run up and do your job but for guys, you? But listen, stop but, harassing black people. But hold up. Why don't you guys tell them that? When you guys roll up on say that. Say, guys, I mean, uh, that's what I'm saying. Inform them. Say, hey, it's a consensual encounter. We don't have reasonable suspicion. It's all voluntary. Every now, time they do it, it's always say you, somebody. You're say, say, a racist somebody. piece of shit. You know that? Uh, you ain't shit. They can tell you that, but you also got and you knew that you ain't had to search. And what did you find? Here. What did you find in there? Listen, you can tell them why you're here and everything. You pig piece, piece, piece of shit, racist piece of shit. You too. Get the out of here. Get the out. Oh y'all, let me catch you out here again doing. Let me catch you out here. Let me catch you out here. No, nah, okay, I can help you. I can help him though, like I just did. Can you step back so I can enter my vehicle? I could. Is it a command or a request? 
it's more of a request. Okay. Then, step back. then no. Okay. Then no. All right. You command me. I know what to do. That's how you got go last time, isn't it? What that's, is your problem? That's how you got emotional last time, isn't it? And you still slipping. You don't learn. I should slam this. Go ahead and do it. I know you charged me with a felony if I it. did. Go ahead and do it while you, my hands are do it. Yep. Because you would need you need me to do that. You need to break laws like that. Take that radio off. Take all that uniform off. Do it in a Ford and a Ford Focus. They don't say police on it. Say I won't. Say I won't. You protect it now because you're in the blue. And we already had this conversation. Thin blue line. That's thin though. Yep. Yep. I got work to do. Okay, do work. Face, so do work. Like... Do work. Yep. Uh -huh. Ran y'all off. The pig. Try it again. You're still too close. You're still too close for comfort, Corporal. Too close still. Still too close. Go down at the Stiglias and do it. Get out of the black neighborhood, Corporal. Do what you want to do. I know it. I see it in your eyes because you treat your wife like that. Yep, and your kids. Out of the black neighborhood now. Get the. You wish you could do something. All these little facial expressions are going to get monetized on YouTube. Yep, and stay the. I'm not coming after you again. There you have it. Citizens saved by other citizens who actually knew their rights and advised him, hey, listen, yeah, you gave him consent, but you gave him consent under duress. You could tell him to stop right now and they have to stop. And what happened when the citizen heard that? He says, stop. And they put their hands up and they had to walk away. The famous walk of shame. That's how it's done. This is why I always state, know your rights down below in the description section. I have an ebook. The link is down there. Download it. Also above my head, you can click this link. Download my free ebook. It's going to help you to know your rights when you encounter the police. So many people have their rights violated and they do not know they have their rights violated because they don't know their rights. If you're serious about learning your rights, register for my online video course titled Surviving the Police. It's full of video lessons, real life video examples, quizzes to make sure you retain the information, notes, and you don't even have to take the notes. I took them for you. It even comes with a free pocket guide with the constitution, case law, all the do's and don'ts when dealing with the police. So when you encounter the police, you won't be caught lacking. You will know exactly what they can and cannot do. With that being said, we the People University, signing off.